Good morning and welcome to day 16. Uh, we're still at Doc Campbell's, but I promise you we're actually leaving this time. Um, last night, another frozen night. I feel like every day is just getting colder and colder and uh, it's starting to be a real drag. So uh, to This morning was probably my first bad morning of the entire trip, just being pissed off at how cold it is. So as you can see from the sprinkler here at Doc Campbell's, maybe, there are icicles everywhere. So that's what we're dealing with, frozen shit. In the desert, I mean, I can't believe it. And it's expected because it's the desert. It gets, you know, cold during the night, hot during the day. But I just didn't expect us to be in like 50s during the day and low 30s at night. I didn't think it'd be that cold on a regular basis. So, I mean, we're into April now, so... I don't know, but things will change, and things will warm up, but we are going to the Gila Cliff Dwellings, and then from there we are deciding what to do. I am definitely taking the river, but some of us might be taking the high route because of how cold it is, um, so we'll see what happens, but finally, it's time to get to hiking. Alright, we have made it to a sign that tells us we are at the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument, but uh, Still got some road walking to actually get there. But isn't it nice having this sign here? Little checkpoint for us after that super long two and a half mile road walk. Grueling. Grueling. We are ready. Oh, and Baywatch has never been featured in my videos. We have a fourth with us. Up, the for a whole day we get to hang for out. For a whole day, the Baywatch. Yeah, lucky us. Yep. Yeah, right. Well, after. Uh, two extra miles of road walking from the visitor center to the actual monument. We are now in Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument. It is a one mile loop that takes us up to about five or six different caves. Also up to that mesa up there. And this nice little walk through here. We'll, we'll check out the caves in a minute. Found our first house with some pretty substantial walls. There's still wood in there. Pretty cool, huh? Let's go inside. All right, I got a real good one for you guys. Let's take a home tour. Pretty freaking cool. Look at all those houses all through there. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's this is supposed to be a ladder. He's using his stairs. What is this Baywatch guy all up to? This is crazy. So what I personally didn't realize when we left the visitor center was that um this road walk that's two miles from the visitor center to the Gila Cliff Dwellings is actually two miles completely out of the way. So this is all off trail miles. So that totals out at about um, five extra miles because two, two road walking in and out and then a mile loop of the cliff dwellings. Still totally worth it. That was awesome. So now we're on the road back to the visitor center to head up into the Gila River and get to hiking. Looks like about 12 miles to get to Jordan Hot Springs. That's our next destination tonight. Just some natural hot springs in, in the river. So see if we can make it. It's getting a little late in the day, but we're gonna try to push for it. All right, I told you at some point we were getting back on trail and now is finally that time. Headed back into the river. I'm uh, with Baywatch and Nightcrawler. Darian decided to take the high route cause she's uh, getting pretty cold out there. So we might meet up with her in a couple days or so. Until then, she's on her own, and we're back into the thick of it. Couldn't be happier. All right, we have completed two river crossings so far. They are chilly, but not as difficult, because we are now on the middle fork of the Gila River. So 
Uh, south of Doc Campbell's, when we first started, we were getting the entire Gila River uh, to cross. But now it has separated into three forks. So we're just taking the middle fork. So in theory, we have about a third of the water volume coming at us. So crossings are shallower, a little less fast, and therefore generally easier. So it's going well. And we only have about eight miles to Jordan Hot Springs, so we're making good time. We are starting to get engulfed by these beautiful canyon walls. And they're getting taller and they're getting cooler. That is just awesome. Look at that. Just look at it. You are now being overloaded with Gila Canyon Wall videos. And I do not care. This is just enchanting. These things are like hundreds of feet tall. And they're, they're layered. They go so deep, they have caves in them. And we're just surrounded by them. Just these small little things walking through a river. And these magnificent canyons. Oh my god. I love it here. Highlight of the CDT for sure. Oh you know, just another horseshoe bend with one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my freaking life. No big deal there. Wow. Look at that. What's up buddy? All right, the only thing I can say is, wow. We just showed up at Jordan uh, Hot Springs, and this is probably the best campsite that I've ever been to in my entire life. And I'll show you why. Here's the tour. So we are at the top of the campsite. That's my tent. And we got a little spot for fire. We've got Baywatch's tent. But this is just the second floor. Well, let's go down to the first floor. You can see... Nightcrawler setting up his tent. We got a spot over here, fireplace, with the sticks already lined up to hang things. That's the first floor. Then we got this backdrop that we get to stare at all night. Oh, also, we got this over here. Kind of hard to see in the sunlight, but giant cliff walls down below the Gila River. But that's not all. Let me oh, take wait, you. Yeah, but wait, there's more. Let's trek down another floor and see what else we got going on in here. How about our very own hot spring? Completely clean because it's fed by a freaking waterfall. And we got this place all to ourselves. And that hot water waterfall goes all the way down to the river with that beautiful black backdrop. So the plan now is we are hopping in this thing, getting warm, having some hot dinner, some snacks, relaxing, and then hanging out in camp for the rest of the night. This is easily the top three camp spot I've ever been in my life, probably number one. Just incredible. The Gila National Forest keeps on giving. All right, guys, I am calling it the end of day 16. Thanks for joining me and check out some of these still pictures from today and let me know what you think. Have a good one.